Alright y'all, I want to show you a neat little modification that you can do to your buck mark. I don't suggest you do it, but it's I saw it on YouTube and I want to share it. I'm going to do it to mine. First thing I want to do is check the trigger pull. Okay, that shows about three and a half pounds. Let's do it again. Well, again, it shows about three and a half pounds. So, we're going to get it down to about two pounds. In order to do that, the first thing I have to do is take the barrel off, which I back that out till the barrel becomes loose. And I take this screw here out, and I take the internals out up uh, here in the slide. I don't want to waste your time, so... Let me do that and I'll get right all back. Alright y'all, I got it all tore down. Here's the barrel. A little recoil assembly there. Sight and a slat. This right here is a sear spring. It's got a long leg on it. You'll see it when I get it out on the right. And it's got a short leg on the left. We're going to take it out of there and we're just going to turn it over. We're going to put the long leg on the left and the short leg on the right. I'm going to use a punch. There is a pin right there. We're going to push it out of there. Well, that's great. That's what I needed. All right. It hopped out of there. All right. Now, I could, if you had a vise, it would probably make it easier. But I'm going to grab that spring good. I'm going to pull it out. It's in there now. You gotta pry it out. If you drop it, it doesn't matter. Like I just did. See, I dropped it down in there. I'm going back in after it. There it is. Okay, it was sitting in there like this. Uh, correction. It was sitting in there like this. I'm damn it to hell. You got steady hands, you won't have a problem. <sighs> so I'm turning it over. See what I've done? I put the long leg on the left and we'll put it back in there. Now there's another gentleman who has a video on this. I'll put his link down there. He's got a lot steadier hands. His name is the Harley dude, I think. I don't know when I why do I do these? I don't know. I, I do them to show that if I can do it, anybody can do it. I suppose. Now, we want to get that short leg underneath there. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the whole thing down in there and pull it back up. 
I'm gonna get a hold of it with my pliers. Damn. Yeah, I know it ain't the best video in the world, but uh, that's how you learn. I'm just going to drop it in there. <clears throat> like I say, if you got steady hands, you won't be going through all this crap. I'm going to show you what that let's try this way I'm trying to get that short arm down where it belongs there now we got it Hope y'all caught that. Now we're going to put the pin back in. That's the trouble with these kind of how-to videos. If you've never done it, you don't know what to expect. And if you shake like I do, you, you got a big problem. There it is. That's it, y'all. Now, I don't know about the you know, safety features, meaning if you drop this thing, what's, what will that do, and blah, blah, blah. You know, it, it's me. It's my gun. I'm going to do what I want with it. Trying to get this evened up. Now, I'm going to turn this thing off. I'm going to put it back together again. And we're going to show you what there the it is. Put it back together again. Let's get the scale out. And give this thing another go. Two pounds. Okay, this is, I've heard it called a Haggis, Haggis, I'll put the spelling down somewhere, the Haggis Flip, I've read about it on several forums and whatnot, and uh, I didn't see anybody say don't do it, um, matter of fact there was a couple articles said it's the only way to fly. two pounds so we went we went from over three to two pounds and if you don't like it you can turn it around back around and put it back the other way but um, I haven't shot it yet and we'll see how much I like it but uh, I mean a two pound trigger all you got to do is turn that spring around so you will like to do it you saw how to do it and I'll put the other guys uh, that safe Harley dude I'll put his um, link down there and you can watch him do it his hands a lot more steady than mine but I appreciate you watching catch you later bye